What's up YouTube? Question mark. Kevin here, comma, with a video about Siri dictation on OS X Mountain Lion, period. As much as I would like to do this whole video using Siri dictation, it's not very practical mainly because just like on the iPhone 4S and just like on the new iPad, Siri dictation is not perfect. There's a lot of improvement that can be done and it's, you know, it's pretty good speech to text, but it's still not perfect. And actually to type out the sentence you see here on the screen, it actually took me a quite a while for it to recognize the word YouTube. So without further ado, this is just going to show you a little bit of how Siri dictation works on OS X Mountain Lion. So what you want to do first is fire up system preferences. Here you'll notice that there is a dedicated button tab for dictation and speech. You want to click on that and then you want to turn it on because by default it's turned off. This small dialog will pop up saying when you dictate text, what you say is sent to Apple to be converted into text to help your Mac recognize what you're saying. Other information is sent as well, such as your contacts. So you're going to enable dictation and then you have some other small settings here. First of all, here on the left, you have this voice meter or this audio meter to tell you to see if your microphone working and you can select your audio source right now I have the blue snowball but you also have other audio sources in case you want to use those on here at the bottom we have a shortcut drop down menu where you can program various different shortcuts to activate Siri dictation I chose function key twice but you can choose whatever you want and language I'm obviously speaking English but you can also do this in English in Australia the United Kingdom French German and Japanese so without further ado we are going to now enable dictation and move on to the next part of this video so here we have Pages, which is an application, a word processing application for the Mac. It's made by Apple in their iWork suite. So anywhere in OS X Mountain Lion where you can input text using your keyboard, Dictation now allows you to replace your keyboard with your voice. So what we're going to do here is activate Dictation by double tapping the function key as I previously assigned. And this dialog will appear, period. Now, it is now recording my voice and whatever I say will be translated into text, period. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, period. So here is exactly what I said, and this dialogue will appear. Now it is recording my voice, and whatever I say will be translated into text. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So it does a pretty stellar job at translating your voice into text. Now granted, I am using a $100 microphone, so that could be it. So what I'm going to do in this next test, I'm going to unplug my microphone. So I'm just using the internal microphone, the one that will be built into your MacBook or your MacBook Pro, your MacBook Air, your iMac, whatever, and just to see how well dictation will work with that microphone of lower quality. So here, I'm just showing you guys, I am using the internal microphone for this dictation, but for the audio that you guys are hearing right now, I'm still using the Blue Snowball because the application that I'm using, which is ScreenFlow, allows you to capture audio from an external audio source, and the system allows me to use the internal microphone to record dictation. So keep that in mind as I try to copy down this exact sentence using the internal microphone, which is significantly lower quality than the Blue Snowball that I'm currently talking into. So now we're going to double press the function key to activate it as before and this dialog will appear period now it is recording my voice and whatever I say will be translated into text period the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog period so it pretty much translated almost spot on instead of saying now it is recording it says now this record my voice and whatever I say will be translated into text but aside from that really minor error it's pretty darn good and you know, if you guys are planning to do really long dictations, you know, using the internal microphone, it won't be a huge, you know, hindrance to you. It won't be something that will be a huge detriment. But if you do have an external microphone and it is higher quality than the built-in microphone, which I'm pretty sure if you have one, it does, then I would strongly recommend using the external microphone because the higher quality of the audio that's going into dictation for it to translate and process, the better and more accurate the dictation will be. So now we're going to move on to the next part of this where I show you guys a little bit of the tips and tricks of dictation and how to input certain characters, how to do certain things so that your translation, your dictation works a lot smoother. So if you guys are planning to do some serious dictation, I strongly recommend that you listen to this part of the video. Here I will show you guys some tips and tricks on how to input certain characters and a lot of different things. Now it's pretty simple, dictation is very smart and it knows what you want to say. So some simple things such as kevin at gmail.com it can translate that to have these symbols the at and the dot it recognizes as a period if you want to say something like 15 percent it can translate and put the percent sign in if you want to say 24 dollars and 15 cents 
it can translate that to 2415. So those things are pretty simple. You just say them exactly how you would in real life and it will put those punctuation in. Now, if you want to do some more, you know, simple typing, you can say something like, hello, period. Kevin said, comma, quote, hello, period, end quote and it will translate exactly how you want it to. So essentially everywhere where you see a punctuation mark, you need to say whatever punctuation that is, whether it's quote, end quote, or things that are simpler like left parenthesis, hello, right parenthesis. And the same thing works with brackets. Left bracket, hello, right bracket. And so you can see that everything is pretty darn simple. And the last thing I really want to show you guys that might be somewhat helpful, new paragraph and it'll translate and do a line break in your text. So a lot of these things are very simple and a lot of these things you can just easily say. Now there are some things that are a little bit more odd for us because when we speak we don't say the punctuation. We don't say hello exclamation point. We don't say the exclamation point obviously. We just say that in our tone and you also don't say hello question mark. You just kind of say hello, something like that. So dictation, unfortunately, you can't recognize tone quite yet. So you have to tell it manually every single thing. It also recognizes things like backslashes and colons and all those other types of punctuation. But these are some of the simpler things that dictation can do for you guys. So I wanted to give you guys one last word of advice and kind of a word of caution, actually. If you guys are planning to use dictation for some very serious voice to text translation, you guys might want to be careful and take a break every few sentences. Now, why do I say this? Well, you guys will notice in a little while, once I keep talking, that the dictation will actually cut itself off because that's simply too much information to send to the server and have it come back. So any moment now, this should cut off and it should tell me, hey, you know, it's processing, and then the worst part of it will come when you guys realize that after it dings, it doesn't even pop back the translation that you were trying to say. So keep in mind that when you guys are translating and dictating things, you might want to keep it short and sweet. Take a break every sentence or two, every three sentences maybe should be sufficient, and let the computer and the servers you know, keep up with you. Kevin says, comma, quote, This has been my video about dictation on OS X Mountain Lion, period. Please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next video, period, end quote.